Hey, what's going on out there? Welcome to Phyllis Friday. Today I want to talk about a topic that's near and dear to me. And that topic is what to do when a woman looks at you. All right, I feel like this is one of those topics that guys have a lot of confusion around where they should actually be using this as an open door to go and create conversation and connection. Now, when I was younger, <laughs> I would get girls looking at me. I would get girls who would give me a little bit of eye contact and turn away, and I didn't know what to do with it. And I remember having the thought one day that what if I just went over and talked to a girl who was doing that? Because to me, it kind of felt like it was an open door, but at the time I didn't have the confidence to actually initiate and step into that. Nowadays it's different. I'm way more inclined to step in that unfamiliarity or that, what is this? Is she giving me an open door? Is she interested? Is she not? I don't know. If you guys are struggling with understanding what the eye contact means, do I go in? Do I not go in? Stay tuned to the end of this video where I'll give you two tips on what to do in those situations, what to do in the midst of the confusion, the uncertainty, and how to make the best out of it. Let's go back to the earlier journey with me and the idea that people are looking at you or giving you signals and you not knowing what those signals actually mean. Now the truth is a lot of the time those signals don't mean that they necessarily want you or want to talk to you. But if you learn to err on the side of they do, you'll lend yourself to going in more. And the more you lend yourself to going in and showing up and saying hi or talking or speaking, you'll find that you actually create attraction or you create the result that you want just by showing up and being present or being in the interaction. Now, if you look at these interactions or you look at the eye contact that women are giving you or just the little glances that they give you and you have a belief system that you're not good enough or that women don't want you, you're automatically going to go to the thought that is there something on my clothes? Why is she looking at me? It's kind of weird. I don't know what to do. Versus being like, oh, okay, she shot me a look. That's kind of interesting. I want to go see what's going on over there. Which in turn will always give you a better chance at creating a connection and gaining something from the interaction. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, which is probably what a nine, I would say 90% of guys are doing out there. And I know that because I was doing that very often. Let's go back and revisit that first part, right? Where it's like, if a woman is shooting you a glance or she may have looked up at you and turned away, or maybe she looked at you, turned away, and then right before she passed you, she looked again. Naturally or instinctively, if you're a guy who doesn't have really good confidence or really positive belief in himself, then you're automatically going to take that stuff to mean maybe she's not interested in you. You'll filter through your own, your belief system, right? And if you have a shitty belief system, then that's what's going to come out on the other side of that. Now, in my own experience, the more confident I got doing the fearless work, I started to kind of walk into those interactions a little bit more by either saying hi or how are you doing or just something like that to show her that I acknowledge that she saw me, right? And what came from that was a lot of different things. I would get girls who would slow down and stop and start talking to me or girls would just say hi back or, or ask me how I was doing or tell me how they were doing in passing, but they'd also slow down as they're doing it and not rushing off. So what I learned over time was that there's always something there if you're willing to lean into it. Very rarely do I get it where a girl just doesn't, doesn't acknowledge that I said hi to her or how are you doing? So I want you guys to really start experimenting with this because it kind of reminds me of what uh, Robert Glover said in his talk at the uh, Integrated Man Summit about a year ago or two. He said, there's always open doors. And a lot of us are not realizing that there's open doors because we're not taking advantage of what those open doors even look like. We're not even aware of what those open doors look like. So to me, a small glance or a look or something like that is, to me, is an open door for sure. It means that she's already seen me, she's acknowledged me. Now let me just go over there and talk to her and see what's there. Let me, let me lift that rock and see what's under it, all right? So I wanna get you guys comfortable with doing that so that you guys can start to take more advantage of those opportunities that are coming to you guys in a very easy way. Hit like and subscribe. Uh, so you can constantly get the videos that we're pumping out for you guys. Also comment below to let us know what kind of success you're having with this. Are you noticing girls looking at you and you're just not going in? What's it been like when you notice a girl looking at you and you actually do step into it? What have your results been so that the other guys can read the comments and see that it's really just your fear of doing it. It is not so much what you think is going to happen, which a lot of guys think they're going to get rejected or shut down. So anyways, guys, go and watch Robert Glover's video that we have on our channel from Tim's, I believe it's 2019. So we'll put a link down below and go ahead and check that video out. It's got a ton of great information in that video to help you guys get up, get out and start to take advantage of those open doors. All right, so on to the two tips that I have for you guys. So now if you find yourself in a situation where girls are locking in ice with you as you're walking down the street in a mall, anywhere out and about, and you don't know what to do, the first tip I have for you is called the three second rule. 
Now, this three-second rule was given to us by old school pickup coach named uh, Mystery. Now, what the three-second rule is, is that you have three seconds to go in and talk to this girl. It means you can literally just step towards it and say anything that comes to mind. Doesn't matter what you say, just get the hell over there and let that resolve itself once you're actually there. Now, you'll find in that, that a lot of girls are actually open to talking and that everything that you were doing to hold yourself back was just a story in your head and there's no greater feeling than to have that realization. Now, sure, it's gonna take a little bit of practice over time to get used to stepping in that quickly, but what we're doing here is learning how to break down that wall of going into your head when the girl looks at you and trying to guess and think about what that actually means versus just showing up and finding out what that means for that particular girl, for that particular glance. So, hope that helps you guys. Now let's jump to tip number two. Now tip number two is very simple. Get the hell over there. Just go. Say something. Say hi. How, how are you doing? How's your day going? If I find myself in a situation where let's say girls maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 steps away and she just looked up at me and she's turned away, as she starts to get closer to me, I'm automatically going to be like, hey, how's your day going? Or hey, how are you doing? Right? It's instinctive for me to do that now, but I've had great success with doing it and they'll always either slow down, stop and talk to you, or make some kind of gesture to let you know that they've heard you. And if they don't, maybe they have headphones in, maybe they're in a rush to get somewhere, don't take it personal, it's not a big deal. It doesn't mean that it's, that's gonna happen in all your interactions. It just, mean that, it just means that this particular girl, whatever our reasons, closed off, she's busy, she's gotta go, she got her headphones in. So again, don't take it personal, keep doing it, do it to more and more girls every day. Now, if you can put yourself in a place like a mall or a shopping center or somewhere where there's just a lot of foot traffic, you'll probably find that more girls are looking at you than you've ever noticed before. The more you start to open yourself to seeing it, you'll start to notice that more girls are giving you glances than you probably even imagined before. And actually, when I go out, I'm always expecting girls to look. I'm always expecting a girl at some point within the first couple of minutes of me being out to give me that glance or give me that open door that uh, Robert Glover talks about in the uh, the Tim's talk from a couple years ago that we have on our channel as well. So go out there and start taking the initiative to step into it, lean into it. You'll feel way better once you actually do it, I guarantee you. You'll feel way worse when you don't do it and you think about the potential that you wasted all this time versus not going in once you actually do go in to see the potential there. If you're finding it difficult to find things to say, to step into that tension with, then I got a couple of things for you. So you can try something really easy that's just like, hey, how are you doing? Or hey, how's your day going? Or hey, I like your shirt. Hey, your, 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 uh, your shoes are cool. I like your shoes, where'd you get them from? Right, it could be anything. Your earrings are awesome. Um, hey, I like your style. Right, it could be something like that. And uh, it doesn't have to be anything complicated or difficult. You just gotta get yourself over there talking to get the thing initiated. Once you start talking, the person will stop. And then from there, you can create a connection. You can, practice on your social skills and practice on leading, containing, grounding once the stop has fully been established. Okay guys?